The government initiative saw scores of parents and guardians receiving a total of 100,000 from the Ministry of Human Services and Social Security at the Watuka Guest House, Linden Region 10, last Wednesday. Parents expressed their happiness and gratitude for the fund, emphasizing that it will go a long way for their children's needs. So with this $100,000 cash grant, I would buy at least six months of injections once it gets a long expiry date so that she and her brother and her other sister can get this injection almost every day or every other day instead of once a week that I used to give them before now. So for now they would get it every day. I am so grateful and I am so thankful for this $100,000. Thank you. This $100,000, I think is a very good thing because it's going to help me, you know, to buy stuff that I can prepare him, you know, to mold him, support him and everything. And some stuff that I would buy would be like this um, school stuff to help him to see better, to help him stuff, you know, daily stuff. So they receive his grant? Good, because it's for my grandson and he need it. We just want to thank the president for doing what he's doing and continue doing what he's doing. Meanwhile, Human Services and Social Security Minister Dr. Vinya Prasad in her address reiterated the government's commitment to assist persons with special needs countrywide. Minister Prasad also clarified what it means to have impaired vision. No one has been refused. I know there were people who came and they had children who wear glasses and it's a common I suppose misunderstanding that if your child wears glasses, it's a permanent disability. That is not so. We've managed to clear that up and to make the whole process very seamless, very transparent. There has been a very good doctor on site who has been seeing all of those persons who have queries. But by and large, we've managed to assure people, we have managed to see everybody. No one has been turned away. Dr. Prasad reiterated the PPPC administration's commitment to persons living with disabilities and its efforts to ensure programs implemented cater to their advancement. Other initiatives for persons living with disabilities include the establishment of a learning lab, day and night care facility, and transportation services to take children to and from learning institutions. The government has allocated $200 million in this year's budget to offer direct support to persons.